morning to you and welcome once again to another daily devotional recording for today, the 7th of January, Thursday. Um, this morning we'll be doing a little bit of prayers, we'll be praying for the new year. But before we do that, um, let's read from our Bible text. Our Bible text is taken from Isaiah chapter 60, we'll be reading from verse 1 to 3. It says, Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Verse 2 says, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Verse 3 says, And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Our memory verse is taken from Isaiah 43, verse 19. It says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall come, now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and pray and rivers in the desert. Prayer is an opportunity to sow into your future. Prayer is an opportunity to direct your ways or chart a path in your future. This is the beginning of the year. This is, today is the seventh day of the year. And what better way to go into your year than to send prayers to your future. So this morning we're going to be taking some few prayer points and I'd like you to pray from the bottom of your heart even as we take our first prayer point this morning we'll be asking God and thanking God for the grace to praise Him like never before. We're going to say, Father, please give me the grace to praise you like never before and fill my life with great testimonies this year. I'm going to open your mouth and say, Father, Lord, give me the grace to praise you like never before. Open your mouth and talk to God and say, Lord, give me the grace to praise you like never before. Cause me to experience testimonies throughout these years. May I experience your testimonies. May I experience your light. May I experience your love throughout the course of this year. You're going to also open your mouth and say, Father, Lord, give me fresh anointing and understanding. Please renew my strength for greater exploits. When the Lord gives you anointing, when he gives you fresh understanding, he gives you the grace for exploit. So you're going to open your mouth and say, Father, Lord, release unto me the oil of gladness and fresh anointing for understanding. Renew my strength for greater exploit. Talk to God this morning and say, Father, renew my strength for greater exploit. You're going to open your mouth and say, Father, please do not let me struggle this year. Let your favor distinguish me in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your favor distinguish me. The Bible text we already say, Arise and shine for thy light is come. When the light of God is upon you, it causes you to stand out. So open your mouth and talk to God and say, Father, cause me to be distinguished in this year. May I be distinguished from my peers. Let your favor distinguish me in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and talk to God. You're going to pray also and say, Father, please give me the grace to obey your instructions. You see, when you obey the instructions of God, it means you are in his, in his, in his will and you are in his plan. So you're going to open your mouth and say, Father, Lord, give me the grace. Cause me to obey your instructions in whatsoever I do. Lord, let me be leaded and let me be led and guided by you in all that I do. Talk to God and say, Father, Lord, cause me to obey your instruction. Cause me to obey your instruction. And finally, you're going to pray and say, Father, Please give me the great passion for soul winning. May I have a great passion for soul winning. Cause me to win souls for your kingdom like never before in, in, in this new year. As I go forth in this year, like never before. Cause me to have a passion for winning souls for you. Cause me to have a passion for the ministry of reconciliation. May I be, may, may I be a fervent soul winner. May I be a persistent soul winner. Wherever I go, cause me to spread your good news to others in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to thank God for we know that God is an answer of prayers. God is the one that does the impossible. He opens the door where they are closed. Just go ahead and say, Father, Lord, I thank you. Thank you. Lord, we bless your name. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want to encourage you that you also make this a habit. Pray as you go throughout your day. God will lead you and guide you in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to believe you enjoyed our session this morning and you've been enjoying our session so far. And if you have not subscribed, I'd like you to like this video and also click the bell icon to subscribe so that you can get notifications whenever we have a new video. Thank you. God bless you and do have a lovely day.